This is our high fidelity sim lab. So this lab enables us to see real life scenarios without the pressure of it being on a real life person. So in that case you would get nitro. <laughs> they get to work together, bounce ideas off of each other, make mistakes and that's okay. We have a sim man, it can also be a woman. Uh, we have a pediatric simulator. We have a baby simulator here, and then we also have Sim Mom, and where she can give birth. Oh, we've got a baby boy! Oh. It's a live mannequin, so they're blinking, they're breathing, they can talk back to us. Feeling better? My pain's a little bit better. Good. We can get urine out of her, we can give them meds, we can start IVs on them. Uh, we can do lots of things with these higher fidelity mannequins that we can't do on mannequins that just lay there in bed. I actually see a patient in front of me. I see what's going on. I get to see their vital signs. And then you see as the disease progresses what you have to do. It gives us more confidence as we go in to actually see real life patients to know what to do to take care of them and not have to ask questions necessarily in front of them, but kind of know what we're doing anyways. It gives you the opportunity to run through a scenario and then have your instructor break down what just happened and for them to really show you everything that you could have done or should have done that just makes you a better nurse or student nurse in the field. In the sim lab, it's just your classmates, people that you're comfortable with, that you can talk things through with and ask questions. You're not afraid to make a mistake and look stupid. Good job, boss. We got this. <laughs> the more we make them do what they're supposed to do, like bleed, uh, they can actually put a Foley catheter into them and get urine out. Uh, they actually can make puking noises. Okay, well let's let you puke. Um, the more realistic we make it, the more they seem to get out of it and enjoy it and learn from it. Two breaths. One, two, all right. We're so lucky to have good clinical sites, but you don't always have um, these scenarios that you're going to see actually right. on any day-to-day -day basis. So Clear. by having a lecture on a certain scenario and then seeing it in the sim lab, we can make them relate that material. I did try to increase her oxygen and she feels like she's got some fluid in her lungs as well. It's very valuable and helping them to learn in a very non-threatening environment. Oh, I see how it works now. Okay. We can go at their pace, we can stop and start, and it gives them an opportunity to take care of people and to learn without the threat uh, of harming somebody. Probably need to do some packing, try to get this bleed stuff. Even as a student nurse, when you're in a clinical setting, you need to know what you're doing and how to react in especially emergency situations so that you can possibly help save someone's life. Good job, you all. Yeah. You were on it. Somebody said, get on it. <laughs>